Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for the 23rd of July, 2022. Thank you for joining me. My name is Suzanne Wagner and I do a daily numerology and astrology blog. Okay, if you start with the numbers and you add all those numbers together, you get the number 18. And if you add the 1 and the 8 together, you get the number 9. The number 9 is a feminine number and as such, it is called the beauty way. That type of energy wants to generate emotional expressions that intend to promote decency and honesty through reflecting on where we have been, what we truly want to manifest now, and what are the goals as we move into the future. The number nine wants to manifest order out of chaos, and there is plenty of chaos to work with. Be aware that too much preoccupation with what our human self demands is a sure way to block the enormous potential within this number nine day. Let yourself dream, but do not live in the dream exclusively. Live your dreams by moving towards the pieces that need to be handled that can manifest more potential. The lesson today is to learn how to balance out the confusion of deep emotions and dreams with the clarity of concrete action and responsibility. The astrology for today. The moon moves into the socially engaging sign of Gemini in the middle of the night. As we awaken, notice the surge of energy, confidence, and that feeling that hope springs eternal. Gemini is ruled by the engaging communication planet Mercury, and Mercury will trine to Jupiter, allowing important conversations to finally happen to clear the air. It is amazing how just having a much-needed conversation will change our outlook and how we feel deep in our body. But today... It seems that we must be willing to take what arises with a bit of faith. Seems that trust in the universe is rising slightly. <sighs> Let's take what we are offered as life has been pretty intense and dense for a long time. Let yourself dream. Keep the intention for inspired global change. Notice and appreciate anything positive happening in your reality. Allow that natural curiosity to gain ground and promote possibilities. Mercury and Jupiter will now flow with the energy of the asteroid Payless, and that allows for us to find focus and be able to gain clarity on things that seem to have been confusing. Use this energy to create lists for what we need to organize in the near future. It may finally feel as if we might get on top of things. Thanks, everyone.